Hello friends, welcome to Visual Vocabulary brought to you by Mahindra Guru, the Brahmastra Success. Friends, in today's videos, the word that we have used were asked in an essay examination of 2013 and hence they are extremely important because they can be asked again. Plus, the synonyms and antonyms that we are using are extremely important from your bank point of view. So do watch the entire session very carefully. So let's start today's session but first of all here's a reminder for all of you that if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel please do so by clicking on the tab over here plus you can also download our latest mahindra guru app from the google play store now let's start the session and here's the previous vocab challenge of the day the word was misleading which being an adjective meant confusing and here's the usage and the synonym antonym for you. Now, you have to tell us what's the missing synonym and what's the missing antonym that we had told you in one of the previous sessions of visual vocabulary. Well, let's have a look at the champions. Now, here are the vocab champions for you. They are Mr. Himanshu Gulati, sir, Mr. Manish Prakash, sir, once again, and Mr. Ashish Khandalwal, sir, once again. Well, many, many congrats to all of them from all of us here at Mahindra Guru. And if you are connected with us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, then you'll be able to see when we promote them over there. Now, let's have a look at the correct answers. Well, the correct synonym was ingenuous and the correct antonym was sincere. Now, let's start this session. Okay, here's the first word for you. It's downhill. Now, downhill being an adjective means descending. Over here, downhill is not a noun. It's an adjective. Mind you that one. Now, downhill is an adjective here and it means what? It means descending. We have also given the Hindi meaning for every word. So, if you want it, then there it is. So, downhill being an adjective means descending. Let's have a look at the usage. Now, here's the usage for you. See, oh, as you can see in the image over here, in the life board over here, the blank space trend of jobs forced them to work at a restaurant. Now, what we want to convey over here is that the reducing or the declining trend of jobs forced these guys to work at a restaurant. Now, they seem to be quite happy though. Now, what do you think? Well, how do we use downhill over here? something like this the downhill trend of jobs forced them to work at a restaurant now let's have a look at the synonyms of downhill well the synonyms are dropping and declining the synonyms are what they are dropping and declining now let's have a look at the antonyms okay the antonyms are right here they are ascending and rising the antonyms of downhill are ascending and rising i hope you got this one let's go to the next one now here's the next one for you it's doleful Doleful being an adjective means depressing. Doleful being an adjective means depressing. Now let's have a look at the usage first. Well, here's the usage for you. As you can see in the video over here, he leads a blank space life. Well, that's a really sad guy over there. And with regards to what we have said, he leads a depressing life. What we mean to say is what he leads a depressing life. Now, how do we use doleful over here? Well, something like this. He leads a doleful life. All right, just replace depressing with doleful. Perhaps he has not downloaded our latest Mahindra Guru app, so you do it as well. Now, let's have a look at the synonyms. Okay, the synonyms are crestfallen or dolorous. The synonyms are crestfallen or dolorous. Now, let's look at the antonyms. Okay, the antonyms of doleful are gleeful or elated. The antonyms of doleful are gleeful or elated. I hope you got this one. Let's go to the next one. Now, here's the next one for you. It's lamster. See, lamster being an adjective means fleeting. All right, or temporary, you can say that. Now, lamster being an adjective means fleeting or temporary. Let's have a look at the usage. Well, here's the usage for you as well. Now, the filler, in the filler it's written, the judge adjourned the court for a blank space break. Now, what we want to convey here is that the judge adjourned the court for a temporary break. Okay, then how do we use lamster in this? In this way. The judge adjourned the court for a lamster break. All right. Let's have a look at the synonyms of lamster. Well, they are ephemeral or evanescent. Now, the synonyms are ephemeral or evanescent. All right. Let's have a look at the antonyms. Well, here are the antonyms for you. They are lasting or evergreen. Now, the antonyms of lamster are lasting or evergreen. I hope you got this one. Let's go to the next one. Now, here's the next one for you. It's harness. See, harness being a verb means to control. Or you can also say to exploit. All right. So, harness being a verb means to control or exploit. Now, let's have a look at the usage. Well, here's the usage for you. And with regards to it, we have given the filler. 
the master blank space the pets the master blank space the pets all right now what we want to convey here is the master controls the pest or uh, pets or uh, tames the pets or you can also say exploits the pests at time so how, how do you use harness in this now jump like this the master harness the pets all right let's have a look at the synonyms now here the synonyms for you they are tame or exploit like i already said so the synonyms of harness are tame or exploit let's have a look at the antonyms well here are the antonyms for you that's unharnessed or liberate the antonyms of harness are unharnessed or liberate so i hope you got this one let's go to the last one of the day now here's the last one for you it's aroma now aroma being a noun means scent all right so aroma being a noun means scent let's have a look at the usage well here's the usage for you now as you can see over here the dog looks like the dog hates the blank space of the cake well the dog actually uh, you know he didn't like the cake perhaps and that's why he just uh, threw it away most probably in his own way now how do we use aroma in this like this one the dog hates the aroma of the cake all right so what we want to convey over here is the dog hates the scent or the aroma of the cake let's have a look at the synonyms of aroma well they are fragrance or incense so the synonyms of aroma are fragrance or incense now the antonyms of aroma are stench or odor now the antonyms of aroma are stench or odor so that was all in the vocab section let's have a look at the vocab challenge of the day well here's the vocab challenge of the day for all of you that's the words is ecstasy and ecstasy being a noun means extreme happiness all right now here's the usage for you to remind the the meaning over here now here the usage is the actors are expressing ecstasy because their film is a super hit as you can see that's the star cast of the amazing spider-man now the given synonym is euphoria and the given antonym is misery you have to tell us what's the missing synonym and what's the missing antonym that we told you in the previous session of visual vocabulary and hey download our latest mahindra guru app because that's actually the mother of all educational apps in india all right and definitely if you like it please like the video as well do give us your review and also you can give us some words if you are not able to find the usage or the meaning of that all all right and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so far because your success is our success thank you